video games offer a place without the stress of everyday life where you can immerse yourself in the stories they have to tell. But no one does this better than the open world genre, where the possibilities are endless and the scope is unimaginable. Exploring a huge, sprawling world full of creatures and people never gets old. From Elden Ring to the post-apocalyptic days gone, there is a wide range of open world games available on Steam that bring exciting adventures and endless captivating stories that I will show you in today's video. Days Gone is another fantastic horror-filled open world, with horde of literally hundreds of zombies en masse just ready to jump you. You play as Deacon St. John, and although it's a terrible name, this biker has quite the story to tell. It's an alluring, although bleak world, with human stories to balance out the horrors of the zombies, or freakers as they're known. Poke into every corner and you'll be rewarded, just as you'd hope from a well-crafted open world game. Hope County, Montana, is the gorgeous open world players get to explore in Far Cry 5 you'll have to share the experience with murderous cultists and deadly wildlife like bears, mountain lions, and wolverines on your way to your particular Far Cry 5 ending. Most open world games see you journeying from point A to B to get anything done, but Far Cry 5 packs an incredible amount of excitement between those points, courtesy of random encounters. Our Far Cry 5 review goes into how you'll be distracted by enemy jeeps, bears, VIP soldiers, roadblocks, hostage situations, car chases, or aerial bombardments, often all at once. Far Cry 5 does its damnedest to keep players in a constant state of distraction, making it very easy to lose yourself in big sky country, to top it all off. While it doesn't work as well as a co-op game where missions are concerned, it does work brilliantly when just screwing around in the open world. So join a friend, pick a place to go to, and wait for the fireworks to start. You won't be waiting long in Far Cry 5. Another futuristic number in the open world genre, Horizon Zero Dawn sees the world filled with high-tech machines in various animal forms. Set in the year 3020, mankind has been dealt a huge setback and divided into tribal factions. Playing as Nora Outcast Aloy, who is on a mission to discover her origins, while saving the world from Hades rogue machines. Horizon Zero Dawn gives you a post-apocalyptic look into a world where nature has taken over the reins. With top-notch, immersive graphics and amazing atmospheres, slip into the shoes of Aloy and experience a world like never before. While Grand Theft Auto 3 basically pioneered the 3D open-world game, GTA 5 is the culmination of everything Rockstar wanted to achieve with that innovative experience. The ridiculously large area of San Andreas is your playground, including the LA-inspired city of Los Santos, and it's one of the most detailed open-world regions seen before or since in a game. There are Easter eggs, stores, sports, and countless side missions to occupy you wherever you end up. If that's not enough, there's also GTA Online, which builds on what's great about the sandbox game and adds dozens of other players, introducing them to races with the fastest GTA 5 cars, heists, battle royale, biker gangs, and much more. There are even GTA 5 mods which, when combined with GTA 5 cheats, can create some utterly chaotic playthroughs, it's wild, and with any luck, we won't have to wait too long for a GTA 6 release date. One of the most realistic open-world games set in medieval times, Kingdom Come, Deliverance certainly delivers a largely accurate depiction. Our protagonist Henry's adventure starts after his village was torn apart by the forces of King Sigismund, sparking a fire in him for vengeance and justice. Kingdom Come definitely does not pull its punches when it comes to realism in the medieval era. From its tricky combat mechanics to having the best mounts, Henry also finds the time to help those around him in multiple side quests. Red Dead Redemption 2 might seem like too obvious a choice for a list like this, but it's an obvious choice for a reason, it's really good, and man, its open world is an astonishing feat and totally transportative. The diversity of flora and fauna, hooves crunching in snow, crouching over a clifftop and watching a herd of bison graze. It might not be as densely packed as, say, Elden Ring, yet that is a rock star's aim here. As we pointed out in our Red Dead Redemption 2 review, the game is more of an orchestration of action rarely seen in open world games. You've got carefully curated heists, with a slow burn story that catalogs the rise and fall of Arthur's gang as motivations once a line go out of joint. There's relative freedom to relax at least early on and soak in the pleasures of taking a bubble bath or hunting a gator, or simply rolling a potential purchase around your hands in some out-of-the-way shop in a little town. RDR2 is special. Elden Ring is a masterclass evolution of the Souls-like genre of hardcore action RPG games and is considered one of the best PC games ever. A large part of Elden Ring's success can be attributed to the new open world, which gives the player the freedom to explore and tackle quests, bosses, and dungeons in whatever order they please. 
the critically acclaimed ARPG also thankfully manages to avoid existing genre tropes. This is no Assassin's Creed or Witcher, and offers its own unique fusion of challenging gameplay and freeform game design. Read our Elden Ring review to see what we thought of this open-world game. This is a must for Dark Souls fans, but even those new to the genre will find this a more welcoming entry point. If you're looking for some tips to give you a leg up, we've got guides to all the Elden Ring bosses, how multiplayer works, and even the Ashes of War locations. Sea of Thieves brings your pirate fantasies to life in this swashbuckling adventure. Channel your inner Blackbeard or Jack Sparrow by taking the helm of your very own pirate vessel, roaming the seas, and looting other ships for treasure. With new seasons jam-packed with a boatload of new updates and additions, there's always something novel to look forward to. Whether you're keen to raid a sea fort or simply would like to earn a heck of a lot of money, Sea of Thieves is definitely one of the best pirate games to ever grace our computer screens. Far Cry 6 takes us to the fictional locale of Yara, someone in South America, where you're charged with becoming a guerrilla fighter called Danny, and toppling the dictatorship led by the Castillo family, namely a chap called Anton, played by Giancarlo Esposito. But, it's also a huge open world with plenty of activities to tick off while you're doing all that politics stuff. Mysteries to solve, races to complete, companions to find, citizens to help, there's a lot to do in Yara. Technical issues aside, Cyberpunk 2077 is an incredible game. There are times when one can only marvel at the depth of its world, which, in spite of its vast scale, feels every bit as alive as any video game setting that came before it or has come since. Simply put, Night City is a masterpiece that will keep on surprising players even after countless hours of exploration. When everything is working as intended, the game too can be pretty breathtaking. Combat is fluid and customizable, the characters are all deep and well-written, and the overall look and feel of the title serve as a fantastic example of just how far the open-world genre come over the course of the past decade or two. Always be yourself, unless you can be Batman should be the mantra for all open-world games. Rocksteady's third and final foray into the world of the Dark Knight boasts a near-complete recreation of Gotham City, and while it's a smaller play area than most other open-world games, few are as detailed and littered with fan service as in this superhero game. Every square meter of Gotham has something of interest to catch your attention, whether it's a dastardly murder, an interesting encounter, an intriguing riddle, a gang of N.E.R. duels to beat up or a billboard advertisement that you should really take another look at after you're doused with scarecrow juice. Getting around the city is a lot of fun, too, from grapple glides to barreling through the streets in the Batmobile. While the story might not be as good as the other Arkham games, Arkham Knight is still one of the best Batman games when it comes to gameplay, gorgeous visuals, and an open world you want to spend dozens of hours exploring, and if you're an avid DC reader then it'll never get boring thanks to the countless Easter eggs you'll stumble upon. You might have fought giant alien enemies in different open-world games, but have you ever imagined that ants and spiders would be the biggest threat to your life? In Grounded, you'll play as a shrunken protagonist, normal grass will look as big as trees, and you'll struggle to even kill a singular ant at the start. The world of Grounded is beautiful and the details in the world are commendable. The game has tons of different biomes and mechanics that can easily give you hundreds of hours of gameplay, and it's even more enjoyable with friends. Assassin's Creed is one of the most famous franchises for open-world RPG games, and Odyssey is one of the best games in it with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. The game is set in a medieval environment where you play as one of the Spartans fighting against Athens. While the game has progression based on the story, you also have a giant world to explore with many side quests. These quests are completely optional, but they reveal many secrets about the world and the people in it. The game revolves around combat, and you'll find enemies all around the world, waiting for a single chance to defeat you. After exploring the cannibal world of the forest, people eagerly waited for its sequel, which came with the name Sons of the Forest. Much like the first game, you'll be stranded on an unknown island while you're trying to find someone. You'll also be fighting against plenty of cannibals in the land. The second game also features some new mechanics like an NPC who can be assigned any task. Apart from the survival horror aspect, Sons of the Forest has plenty of goofy settings that can make the experience a lot more fun with friends. Skyrim is one of those games we return to over and over again and the magic is always there. Its replayability comes from the hundreds of different ways to play through this open-world RPG, from typical character builds like Thief and Warrior, to trying to play the whole game as a vegan or role-playing as a character from the game's lore. Skyrim's open world is filled with characters and beasts going on about their daily business without you, and you'll often happen across a giant kicking a poor wolf into orbit or a couple of Falmer escorting a captured Nord. 
This fantasy open-world RPG explores Skyrim's vast and spectacular region, where you play as a dragonborn, a prophesied hero thrown amid a tense civil war. The world is heavily inspired by the environments of countries like Norway and Iceland, taking their history, culture, flora, and folklore, and muddling them together with the Elder Scrolls' realistic brand of high fantasy. Skyrim has a captivating story and astounding attention to detail, which makes this nearly decade-old game still one of the most talked-about open-world games there is. It still has a dedicated modding community, so you can check out the best Skyrim mods once you've exhausted all the ways to play. Valheim takes the Nordic afterlife to a whole new level in this survival extravaganza. Placed in the shoes of a deceased Viking, this warrior must put in the work to reach Valhalla, the resting place fit for the mightiest warriors. But of course, this all won't be accomplished in the span of a day. With various biomes for you to explore, there are bosses within for you to defeat in order to obtain their powers. The game also offers other activities for you to explore, from building your own boat to navigating the ocean biome to attempting to finish your house. Indeed, it seems reaching Valhalla takes an entire lifetime to do. Okay, this time someone's taking your baby and you need to get him back. Mind you, it's not really that big a deal. Hear me out. Fallout 4's potential is just too tantalizing to ignore for long. Its surprisingly colorful world of Boston, Massachusetts is stuffed with quests. Follow the Freedom Trail, investigate mysteries with the unforgettable synthetic detective and sass master Nick Valentine, try and liberate synths with the railroad, explore a haunted house, or just loot everything and everyone in sight to build up a mountain of caps. Play however the heck you want and see how it influences your followers, adding an extra layer of depth to this post-apocalyptic open-world game. Just don't set the world on fire. Yet. So many modern open worlds feel like little more than a large sandbox thrown together with no real purpose other than to contain the gameplay that the developers had in mind. The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt is different though, with its story and side quests instead serving as a reason to explore its fantastic world. Most open world enthusiasts will probably have checked out the popular CD Projekt Red title already, but those who are yet to do so are seriously missing out. The final chapter in Geralt's epic adventure is easily the most enthralling one yet, not to mention one of the best open world games on Steam. So, did you like the games I recommended? So leave your like, subscribe to the channel to follow me and activate the bell because I post a lot of videos on this channel and you can't miss it. Thank you very much for following me this far and until next time, bye.